We were shocked to discover that in Gibraltar, the Parliament hadn't actually met for about five months. In fact, last year, Parliament in Gibraltar only met on six occasions. It's already met on eight occasions this year. And the reason we were given for the meetings of Parliament not happening is that there simply wasn't capacity in the system to have Parliament meeting while Gibraltar, on the front line of that land border with the European Union, was absorbing the impacts of leaving the UK leaving the EU on, the, on that ter overseas territory. Now, I'm passing no judgment on... on, on the, the decision to leave the European Union, this is not a comment on that. This is a comment on the fact that in this place, I don't think we thought about that. I have a horrible suspicion that when we were having our debates, the issues of the impact on places like Gibraltar and other overseas territories simply wasn't debated. She's raising a really important point. Uh, my view, as I've expressed, is that we should have MPs here with voting rights. But other areas do it differently as well. At least in the US, for example, they are there without voting rights, but full participation rights. We must find a solution along those lines, otherwise we are all negligent, because the best people to make their voice heard is themselves.